So, what's an ecosystem? So, an ecosystem brought me back to high school earth science, if any of you remember that, and probably a diagram something like this. It's a complex biological system. Well, actually, if we talk about entrepreneurial ecosystems, they're very similar. They're complex, they're interconnected, they're social economic, they have uh, countless complex interactions within a community. So essentially what I'm gonna talk about tonight is ecosystems, that's the cool word or maybe the buzzword. In fact, when I looked it up in Google, there was something like, I think 12 million hits. So usually if there's a lot of hits, that means that it's a current uh, word. But I'd like you to think not so much ecosystems, just think community, community that innovates, okay? So what we're gonna talk about tonight is what does that look like? and how do we make it even better? So, ecosystems. This is a system that we're all gonna participate in creating that enables entrepreneurs to quickly find what they need at each stage of their growth. So this is a just-in-time kind of a thing. And what do they need? They need talent. They need information. They need resources. And entrepreneurs, of course, are people. And what do we look for from entrepreneurs? They're people who turn ideas into reality usually charging into weather like we're seeing today and creating something of value uh, and generally where there wasn't value to begin with. So that's kind of our picture of entrepreneurs. And what's good about this entrepreneurism thing that we keep hearing about in the media? Well, it empowers individuals. It, it raises our standard of living. It creates jobs, wealth, innovation in our economy. So here's a graph that, that shows that the net job creation over the last 10 years in the United States has come from companies that are less than five years old. That uh, orange graph on the top is indicating those companies. That's where the action is. So that all sounds good. And you've heard all of this possibly before from the media, but there's kind of an ugly side of all of this. There's an entrepreneurship deficit. This graph here is looking at startup density, which is the percentage of startups versus how many companies there are out in the universe. And as you can see, over the last 30 years, there's been a gradual decline in startups. Not good. You probably wouldn't have thought that. And so what are we going to do about it? Well, one, there's a number of groups that we tend to be leaving behind. For instance, women are half as likely to start a business as, or to own a business rather than men. And minorities are half as likely to own one. And then when we talk about South Carolina in particular, which has a lot of rural uh, segments, only one in 10 startups happen in a rural area, and that is half of what it was, say, 30 years ago. So we're headed in the wrong direction. So what are we gonna do about it? Well, there's some other things happening. The world is shifting. We started off as gatherers and hunters and we evolved into farmers and then we became industrialists. And what are we now? Well, history will tell us someday, we'll put a name on it. Right now, you've probably heard things like digital society or, or the um, creative society and so forth. But connectivity and technology is just increasing at such a rate, unheard of in, in previous eras, we're not sure what that means. And one thing it means to me is that people are now becoming the new companies. And so we need an ecosystem to essentially help them grow more effectively. And so we'd like to think of entrepreneurism as something that just kind of happens. Well, it doesn't just happen. It requires a lot of people to come together and build a community that can be supportive of this. And if we look at traditional areas like uh, where economic development is now, you probably hear it in the news all the time, it's how many jobs, how many new companies, how much money has been invested in these companies. And these are good measures, but they're measures of outcomes. And we need to do some things today that are going to hopefully result in those outcomes, but are in, under our control. And so we need some sort of new model. So what are the elements of an ecosystem? Well, first of all, obviously entrepreneurs, they're the, the center of it all, but let's not forget the supporting people who are helping them out and they come in all forms. So they're part of our ecosystem. Of course, we need talent. Talent is the, is the element that helps our companies grow. We need to figure out ways to attract them, retain them to uh, cultivate them. 
We also uh, have lots of knowledge and resources in our community from various institutions, but we need to be able to make it easy for entrepreneurs to be able to find these resources and to be able to do that quickly. We also need champions. We need people who are gonna be the catalysts, the connectors, the cheerleaders of this process. And then, of course, we need on-ramps. If you're on the outside looking in, how do you get into this community, right? We want this community to be open and easily accessible. So we need to be able to make the, the pathways to get on board to be as easy and understandable as possible. And of course, once we're in the ecosystem, we have all these intersections, the, the co-work spaces, the coffee shops, the research parks, and so forth. And so we need to make sure that those are healthy and thriving and so forth. And then, of course, we get we have people who have been there already, and we want to be able to tell their stories. Why? Because they are great examples, great role models that the rest of us can learn from. And then finally, and last but not least, is the, cult, the culture. And so we need to create a culture where entrepreneurism thrives. And through collaboration, cooperation, trust, all these things are part of this culture that we want to create. Now, Here's one of the things that I learned from, um, actually, uh, I'll later uh, reference Andy Stoll, who's with the Kauffman Foundation. In fact, he's the inspiration for a lot of the uh, material that I've uh, put together here for you today. And the th central theme that he impressed upon me was that diversity is fundamental to this process. We don't want to leave large segments of our community behind. And right now, as the statistics I shared with you show, that is the case. And so we know diversity is good. For instance, investors know that a diversified port portfolio is a much better performing portfolio than one that's not. In fact, there was a, I think, who is it? A Nobel Prize uh, was given out to someone who did prove that in some very um, scientific sort of ways. Businesses, we're always celebrating diverse teams. We find they work better. So diversity has to be a central part of our process of building a, a, an entrepreneurial ecosystem. So now we've kind of gotten to the point where you've come here, right? How do we build entrepreneurial ecosystems? So I'm going to run you through seven elements that I think all of us can participate in one way or another to make Greenville and the greater uh, Carolinas, really, an ecosystem that we can be proud of and that has the results that we want. So, number one, we need to put entrepreneurs front and center, okay, right? This is what it's all about. We need to uh, make sure that we don't leave them behind. So, what does this mean in reality? Well, for instance, when we have a group that's trying to do economic development, don't you think it would be smart to make sure that we have entrepreneurs part of that process? In fact, I'd go one step further. Perhaps they should be leading that process. If, they're, if we're trying to help them, why don't we get the people we're trying to help to be part of that process? Number two, foster con conversation. So what do we want to do here? We want to move this knowledge and these resources and, and mix them up and move them around and make them more accessible to the entrepreneurs that are trying to get started. And, and one of the things that has to happen as part of this conversation is we have to have an orientation towards action. So you probably all heard of the uh, dreamers, right? In fact, I'm sure every one of you, as I say this, can think of someone, your neighbor, a friend maybe that you have coffee with or whatever, who's always talking about coulda, shoulda. Those are dreamers. We need people of action. And so when we talk about conversation and networking and so forth, it's much bigger than just how many uh, business cards that you can hand out. It's about how can you help others? And we need to foster that kind of thinking in our ecosystem that we're building. We need to enlist collaborators. We need to, as, as uh, Malcolm Gladwell says in his book, The Tipping Point, we need to find those mavens and connectors in our community. And we need to uh, encourage them to do their thing. And we want this to be very diverse, as I said, and we want to feel that everyone is welcome. We also need to live these values. So I, you probably can't read them, but if you look at the slide later, you can look at it. But it's kind of a summary to get things started of, of things that, that I'm talking about here. But we have to do more than walk the talk. We got to walk the walk. And so it's only by demonstrating and living the values that they become in, ingrained in the culture that we're trying to create. We need to connect people. 
And so uh, if you've read the book uh, Tribes by Seth Godin, uh, he says there's two things that are important to create a tribe. One, we need to have some sort of shared interest. And I think there's certainly a lot of that that we have in this room. And, you, and second, we need a way to communicate. So those are the two essential items that we need. And so we need to do this bottom up, top down, inside out, outside in. Basically build tribes and, and an underlying element of this is trust. We need to make sure as we're building these tribes that trust is built in and things happen a lot faster. In fact, there's another interesting book called The Speed of Trust, which gets into the issue of if we trust each other, we don't have to have so many uh, side conversations. We can just move forward. We can be, we can act. We also have to tell our communities authentic story. There's lots of people who have come before us who have been very successful, and there's been some that haven't been. We should seek them out find these role models and tell their story because that can help the rest of us uh, learn from their, uh, from their journey. And finally, let's get started. Now, recognizing that this is a long-term process, Silicon Valley wasn't built all overnight, and so we have to have a long view in this. And so you don't need any permission. This is a marathon, not a sprint and you need to just care enough to get started. And so I'll leave you with this idea, is that we need all of you to make Greenville and, and the greater area around us a very successful entrepreneurial ecosystem. And I've got a few other uh, ecosystem builders that I've highlighted here. In fact, I'd particularly like to recognize Andy Stoll, who was here last fall from the Kauffman Center. And he was here, believe it or not, to actually learn how ecosystems are being built in this area. He was here to actually figure that out. And while he was here, he also shared what he had learned by visiting other ecosystem builders. And so I'm particularly grateful to Andy for his inspiration and, and uh, giving me permission to use a lot of the graphics and so forth from uh, some work that he had done. But there's other people who are already at this ecosystem building right here in our community. There's Next. And they're a group uh, that John Moore is leading. We've got Aaron, who's uh, leading a very intense effort through uh, 10 at the top. And then we've got Laura Corder in the uh, uh, Department of Commerce. In fact, if you look up her LinkedIn profile, you'll see that she calls herself an ecosystem builder. So there's already people out there doing it. And so I'm going to leave you with the challenge. I'd invite you to join the rest of us in building a ecos an entrepreneurial ecosystem that we can be proud of. Thank you. <laughs>